What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching Harv Video Order Stuff and for you guys today I've got my review, tutorial and demonstration of Motion VFX M Callouts Tech Animated Titles plugin. I want to know what they are, what they're for, how they work and whether they're any good. Now roll that intro. <laughs> As ever, links to this software plus any other relevant videos I popped in the description box below. And of course, this is not sponsored content, so if you do find it helpful, definitely let me know by leaving me a like. But most importantly, if you are a subscriber, it would mean the world to me if you could just hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Thank you kindly. So straight off the bat, here's a cheeky tip for you. You can get a free trial version of this software from Motion VFX website, and it's definitely worth a go. But what is M Callouts Tech? Well, M Callouts Tech is a pack of 50 4K ready animated and tracked titles for Final Cut Pro. You can track things so easily, like this mug, for example, and you can assign insanely slick looking text in a kind of sci fi theme to them. It's ridiculously easy to set up and track. I think I'm going to put the mug down and show you how to track. In Final Cut now, and we've got this clip of a band, and obviously this angle is on the singer. And in this case, I want to track the singer's guitar. I know it's a brand called Odessa Guitars, so let's label it. It's super easy to get started. Obviously, this is just a drag and drop bit of software. So just find the preset you like and drag into place. So to track this guitar, I obviously want to track the headstock at the end, and this could potentially be a tricky thing to track. It moves around a lot, it's not necessarily always going to be in focus, but you can see the six tuning pegs on the end of the headstock. These are going to make really good anchor points for the tracking system to latch onto. The trick to getting a really solid track in this software is to be really careful about the size of your tracking box. In this case, I've made sure it's really small and it's not going to be tracking anything from behind the guitar. That will just confuse the tracking system and may knock it out of place. I've sped this clip up, of course, but you can see what an amazing job it's doing. I know this is going to be a really solid track. And there we go, the title has really solidly latched on. It's just so impressive. So next I want to go in and edit it because I don't want it saying Cybernetica. Let's change it to Odessa Guitars. I'm going to adjust the main text size so it's a little bit smaller. Change where it says AI Cyborg and it can be Evil Owl, because that's the name of the band. The whole title is a bit big for my liking, so I'm gonna change the size of the whole thing, and that's up here where it says bar scale. That's better, and now just a little bit of repositioning. Near the end of the call out, I noticed it actually goes over the singer's face, so some more repositioning. I also noticed there's a field where it says 2048. I considered putting 2020, but then I thought, nah, let's get rid of it. The last thing I wanted to do is just make that text pop just a little bit more, and I really like the colour of the singer's guitar strap. So I'm going to sample it and use that colour. And there we go. Obviously, there are so many other things I could have tweaked, but that demonstrates the virtues of using a small tracking box. However, sometimes it makes a lot more sense to use a big tracking box. And here is a really good example for you. I've got this gorgeous shot looking down on the city of Tromso in Norway. So let's label it. So for this example, I want to point out a location and I like the look of callouts number 26. So I've dragged it into position and I'm gonna have it going for almost the entire clip. I've got my tracking box roughly where I want it and I've reduced the size of the callout itself. So I've put the playhead at the beginning of the clip and let's track. So with this tracking box, I'm gonna make this quite big and because the camera is panning, it should be a really stable track. Just hit that track button and let M Callouts work its magic. Obviously I've sped this up, but all you can see really is just the slight change in perspective. And this is just caused by the lens and me panning through the shot. This has given us a rock solid track now. But as you can see towards the end of the clip, the callout actually falls outside of the frame. This is easily fixed. All we need to do is hit the horizontal flip from right to left. And that keeps the callout in the frame the whole time. I don't particularly love the orange colour that they've got going on here, so I'm going to change that to a cooler colour because it's a cold place. So I'm going to change it on the track circle and also the detail on the bottom left hand corner of the callout. Let's change it to say Tromso Norway and then we're going to have its location because it looks cool. That looks really good to me, I just want to change the size of the track circle. Just looked a little big for me. So there we have a really rock solid track. 
I would say in general, if possible, if you can use a large track area, that's going to give you really good results. The tracking is so good because it uses the Mocha engine and that's the same secret source behind the tracking that Premiere Pro uses. It's so fast and so accurate and the more you practice with the tips that I just gave you, the better your tracking gets. One way I love using these callouts is as lower thirds and in fact all the lower thirds you've seen in this video are from the tech pack. I know that's what, not what their intended purpose is but if you just position them, don't do any tracking and you just make a few tweaks, they really work. Let me show you. So this is so simple and gives you lovely animated lower thirds. Every callouts pack has titles that are suitable for this purpose. It's just about finding the one that you like. I like preset 2, that's the one I've been using for all of the lower thirds in this video. So setting it up is quite easy, all you need to do is adjust the size. You need to get rid of the track circle and the line that connects the track circle to the text itself. Each preset's different, but I haven't found one yet that wouldn't let me remove these elements. In this case, to get rid of the line, we found the line width, just adjust it from 1 to 0 and it's gone. And then for the track circle, it's track scale and just turn it all the way down and it's gone. So next I want to drag it into position and kind of set it up for being a lower third. I'm obviously going to change the text. Let's just call it M callouts review. It's a bit big, so I'm going to change the size a bit. Let's just make it slightly smaller and adjust the positioning. I'm just going to make a few small tweaks to the stylistic side of it. I'm going to give it a bit more glow and I want the text to stand out a little bit more so I'm going to give it a very light background colour. I really like the blue that's included in this call out so I'm going to use that blue for a couple of the other details. I'm also going to give the background colour just a hint of that same blue but I'm going to make sure it's nice and fairly transparent. I did try changing the animated lines underneath the call out to a kind of bold red and it looks cool but I still prefer that blue. So there we have my lower thirds. As I said, you could apply this technique to almost any of the callouts in any of the packs. Another way I love using these callouts is to make thumbnails. In fact, the thumbnail for this video was made using the tech bundle. Let me show you how I did it. I started off by taking a photo on a cool background, although this looks a little bit like elephant hide. It's actually, it's actually slate. I dotted a few products around. And then I found a callout that looked quite centre justified and bold enough for a title. Obviously I changed the text to say M callouts tech review demo tutorial and I pumped up that kind of glow that you get from these callouts. Of course in a thumbnail you want it to stand out and also show off a bit of what it is the video is about. So I dotted a few more particularly good examples of M callouts tech to label the products themselves. I think it looks cool so I was happy with this. Now for the pros and cons and I'll do them quick fire style. Starting with the cons and if you load too many instances of MCall Arts Tech into your editor you might experience some slowdown but that goes for almost any plugins. They're also not cheap, they're not expensive but they're not cheap and the tracking system can take a little bit of practice to get used to. And the pros, they are super high quality really well animated and they look really stylish. I can't really say much more about the aesthetic. Um, they, they just look great. And finally to my opinion, and this is a really cool pack of cool outs, and whilst the quality is undeniable, I would say, if anything, they're not so much to my style. But if I did say fitness or tech or car videos, I think these would work amazingly well. I love the look of them and the way they've been animated is just so pleasing, so beautiful. I also love the glow you get around them, it kind of reminds me of the game Wipeout, you know what I'm talking about? Another cool thing that I have no doubt was intentional is that the last preset in the pack, so preset number 50, looks remarkably like a flux capacitor from the Back to the Future DeLorean. This is a playful touch that the designers snuck in there and it didn't go unnoticed. Very nice. So for me, I prefer the M Call Out Simple, Simple 2 and Specs plugins, which I've reviewed all three and I'll link them all below. They're not better than tech, they're just better for me. Anyway, that's it. You can ask me questions about the software in the comment section below if you want to. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. As always, I've got a large back catalogue of videos about videography on this channel, of which YouTube has handpicked this one for you, and the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.